Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Pauline Baird. I'm from the village of Buxton, Guyana, and I'm a cultural bearer. By a cultural bearer, I mean I tell the stories of our village. You see, people think they know about Buxton because of its fame or infamy, but people don't really know Buxton. And so I tell our stories. I tell our family traditions, our whispered stories, and sometimes our long forgotten, practiced, or hidden traditions. Today, I want to tell you about an aspect of my village by teaching you a word, or reminding you of one word. I'm going to use English and Creolese. What do stories say? Well, you see a box then? We get this word named suck. Suck. S-U-C-K, suck. In America, when you're no good at something, some people say, you suck. Well, a village, we doesn't say suck like that. Let me tell you, a box and we get a mango named box and spice. When you take the mango and it ripe, you squeeze it, you, you squeeze it until it get nice and soft and poppy, as we say. And then you take the mango and you just bite a little hole at the top. And then the juice come out and you suck. And the more you suck, you squeeze this mango till it dry. That's how you eat box and spice. And then you got sugar cane. You, you peel the sugar cane with a knife or so. And then you cut it up. And when you're small or a child, your parents will give you one piece. And you, you can't really chew it good. So you suck that sugar cane. That is suck. But I got another meaning for you. Let me tell you how I want you to understand this thing. Well, me went pan vacation at Antigua. Out of the winter, America, you know. I've been studying. So I go to Antigua. And I put on my shorts and I'm in the car. My sisters and I were going someplace. So I take my foot and I put my legs through the window of the car. So my legs hanging out. They're taking sun. One of my sisters come and she say, she look at my leg. She say, eh eh, what happened to you there? Me, my sock now. When me tell my sister my sock now, me a sock now, me sister start laugh. Me laugh so till because me and she, this word we didn't use sock for a long time. And just saying sock bring up a whole panorama of experiences from the village my second sister came and she saw us laughing so she said why y'all laughing so i look at my foot my foot and i point at my shin bone right by my shin bone i got like five or six white spots where the pigmentation disappeared from my leg so i'm showing her that i said well me a suck now and she started to laugh so the three of us laughing so till well an american was there white american so he heard the laughing and he came he said what's going on the three of us take one look at it and start a laughing how we got tell this white american but suck tell me you ever try to explain suck to somebody in guyana you don't got to explain suck a village, you not have to explain so everybody know. And this is the point I want to come to. How many people a village you know that people say does suck? Let me tell you, in village, as soon as you see people start to get pigmentation, discoloration, like white spots, like they call it vetiligo, that classifies you as a person who does suck and a person who does suck is somebody who does go and find little babies and suck the blood they have a name for them you call them whole egg or you call them fire ass and when you see they say fire ass that means they say they come at night and they go and suck the baby and they just don't walk up the step and suck the baby, you know. They just go through the keyhole at the house and find the baby and suck this baby. And then they just left the house. And some of them who's the fire ass, they just spin a ball of fire. That's how you just know. 
and they say people in the village can follow the fireball and when it land at somebody's yard they know that is a person that does suck well me and know nothing but that we never see that with my eye but that's what it does say so I'm telling you that now so poor me with my leg if I was in the village now you don't see some little people that eye me give me shades and say mm, she will start suck soon or maybe she has suck too and when I was thinking about this story, a couple of people came to my mind. Because we as children, we did something like this. There was a lady named Zeda. I remember this woman coming down the street with a basket. And suddenly, we decide that this lady does suck. Because she started to get vitiligo somewhere in her body. And so we started to say, sucking Zeda, are hey, you sucking Zeda? And then we run and hide. They say, if you want to know if a person does suck, take chalk and mark the cross on the street and the sucking person can't pass there. You know how much chalk we mark on bridge for Zeta? Plenty. But Zeta could still cross this thing. So maybe Zeta was a really bad old egg. You know, talking about people that suck. It's something that I grew up with that I never really considered the other side of that. In thinking about this story about sucking, I know that it's a skin condition that people have. Some people have it on their lips, some people have it on their face, some people have it on their bodies. And it's a thing that's probably very burdensome to people and even more burdensome to villagers. So I began to look at this thing and think about how this castigation of a person because of this discoloration of their skin can cause them so much anxiety and so much stress. And in the village, how people can be intolerant and lack compassion for another person because of a condition. And while we carry on this tradition, or have these beliefs that people suck babies. You know, I want to figure out what kind of toll that took on people. You know, especially elders. Because this thing didn't, didn't affect young people as much as old people. And so you have men who were called um, fire ass and oleg. Um, in, and this is not just Guyana. That is just a village. It's in Trinidad and Tobago. They, they have a name for that. And in, in, in Jamaica, they have a name for people like that, you know, Blegeze and, Sukwa, and Sukuya and things like that. I don't know in Africa and other places what they call this. But I also want to figure out what happens to the Oleg when somebody comes to America? They get Oleg in America? They get Oleg in England? How them a skin fire? I surmise that back in the day when people didn't have electric lights maybe they used to use flambeau and bought lamps to go to the bathroom at two and three and four in the morning and maybe people see this light and they think oh my god there's a oleg over there somebody's sucking somebody baby because this is this is near impossible or there's another meaning for this if you know the meaning or you have stories like this please let me know because this whole business of sucking is quite fascinating to me Although I understand the cultural input there or the way people thought or had beliefs back there and were quite humorous to me, I also think of the other side about this, the shame and stigma and the hurt that people endured. If you know more about this kinds of story, let me talk story. In the, in, the, in the comments, give me the comments. You can send me messages in box. And on YouTube, you can listen, like and subscribe, share with your friends, and let me talk the thing. Before we go, I want to show you this. This is my book, What the Story Say. I wrote this book two years ago. It's written in English and Creolese. And I'm pleased to announce that Miss Barbara Stridham has been taking this book all over Africa. And she tells me that she will work to have one million pairs of African eyes land on this book. One million pairs of eyes. Village 
I go all over the world. I want good.